Hello boys, welcome back to the second week of the $50 budget series where in this series I will be spending around $50 or around 2000 baht per month on this fresh account I made during the Cygnus Knights remaster patch. If you guys do enjoy this series, please do like and subscribe and yeah, let's get into this week's progression. So here, I did get my Doll Warrior up to level 150. I think by the end of week 2, I did get him up to level 154 with the burning event. And yeah, I did unlock the home feature which gives you a free auto battle whenever you get up to the higher points. For this home feature, you've gotta wait for a while as you need to collect coins in order to buy the furniture inside your home to get the points up. And you gotta get a bunch of level 150 characters in order to maximize how much coins you get per day. So in last week's episode, I did tell everyone that, you know, I was gonna explain what I was gonna spend my missiles on after selling my pet pulls. And here in this week, I'll be spending a lot of, a majority of that missiles on my gear. I did make around 2.5B from selling the pet pulls I did last week. And on this week, I did spend around 2.1B on High Star Force Mythic Gears. I did find a Mythic Best in Slot Gloves that are SF18 and a unique potential for 800M. And I also found a Best in Slot pair of shoes for 700M with Star Force 17 on them, which is, I think, a pretty good deal. When I bought these equipments, they were also level 30, which is very good as I don't need to find powders to max them out to level 30. And these resources are really hard to find as a newer player, so finding gear on TS that are already level 30 really helps out a lot. So as you see, I also bought best in slot gear this time compared to last time when I did the free to play series where I did go with the EXP route. Right now, I went with the crit damage gloves and the crit attack shoes. I did want to try something new, so I went with the best in slot gear, but this gear can also be exchanged in the future for good unique emblem gears, so crit damage or boss attack gear. You know, I can get them to Star Force 18 or 20 using scrolls or not, and just slowly rank them up to mythic and use that instead as Getting a good emblem on non-emblem gear is pretty hard because you gotta wait for the event scrolls to hit and you know, you, you gotta hope that it hits crit damage or boss attacks also. I also did get a mythic Utgard weapon that is max level with a legendary potential at star 416. I did get it for 550M I think and it was very cheap for, the pro for what I get. So I just got it and just decided not to go with the Jaheen route, the crit damage weapon route, and to go with the EXP weapon route instead. It is beneficial if you're mostly leveling, so you know, you get extra levels, and I'm also planning to exalt this weapon to level 40. There is a lot of resale value on EXP weapon, and I don't mind working on a EXP weapon and in the future selling this weapon and getting a nice crit damage weapon instead. Or, heck, I could just, you know, go with a Necro and change it to crit damage after Necroing it. But this will depend on my luck. Here you will see me trying to, you know, try to get two line flames on my weapon, but I barely have any flames, so no luck here. And, you know, it is what it is. And I did also use around 10 Star Force scrolls in order to get. Uh, my weapon from Star Force 16 to Star Force 18. I think I got them from the Valentine check-in and the uh, new player check-in and also the level 150 Cygnus Knights event reward. So I think I've got 10 shielding scrolls there which is very useful for newer players. Loving it. I have also decided to torture myself by you know Star Forcing my E bloody cape here to SF18. I think it took me around 100M to get from Star Force 10 to Star Force 18, which is pretty cheap. It's a lot cheaper than buying it off TS, as buying it off TS cost around 150M. But here, why I decided to use a E cape and you know not get a new cape is because I'm planning to fuse this cape up anyways, get them to level 20 and fusing them up to legendary and then rank them up to uh, mythic later. But I don't mind any base of the K 
cape I get, I just want something with high star force, so that's why I decided to YOLO and pretty much just star force this E bloody cape up to star force 18. By the end of the week, I did get my Dawn Warrior up to Star Force 130, where the level there is not bad, but still, my goal is probably to get to Star Force 144 or 147, either one, the one I can survive in. And also, I think here I will need to start saving up missiles as, you know, the missiles I've got from my pet pulls are slowly dwindling. Now that I am slowly running out of missiles, I've got to start working on the little things. So I did get some of my alts to Star Force 120. I got my Cadena up to Star Force 120 and also my Demon Slayer. The Star Force 120 map is like the holy grail of farming missiles for early game players. As I think the next Star Force where you farm better missiles is at around Star Force 139. So here it is beneficial to get your alts up to Star Force 120 and also it doesn't take that long to get from level 120 to 150 at Star Force 120 so that your legion could get three blocks instead of two blocks. It also doesn't cost that much to get your characters up to Star Force 120 as the growth event does give you a lot of Star Force discount tickets which you can you know utilize to get your characters up to Star Force 120. Or also what I did is that I used these discount tickets to get my alts up to Star Force 100. So the characters that I don't want to fund but I want to get to level 120, I get them to Star Force 100 just so that you get more combat power inside the Legion system so that you could start collecting more Legion coins. As this is a fresh account, I will need to, you know, slowly work on my Legion and, you know, think for the future and, you know, get my alts up there just so that, you know, I could benefit from that system whenever my Dome Warrior is geared enough. I did also go to the event shop and bought some powder for my Demon Slayer to ensure that he does not die in the Star Force 120 map. I feel like Getting maxed out unique is like a minimum for Star Force 120, but it really depends on the class. Here, my Demon Slayer, I did try to max out a lot of the unique gears just so that he can survive the Star Force 120 map better. The worst thing that can happen to you is that your character dies in the middle of the night when you're sleeping and you waste like what, 8 hours of auto battle for free, and this is like the worst case scenario. So after spending all those mesos, I need to find a way to make mesos somehow. So I told you that I have some crystals left from last week. So I decided to do one fashion pull just because I feel like if you're not doing pet pulls, I feel fashion pulls are probably the second best. As most of the stuff from the fashion pull can be sold. So all the fashion can be sold, but the bus cannot be sold. In this one fashion pool here, I did not get the rainbow umbrella and I've only gotten one S label from the whole pool. And you know, those do sell for around 420M each. So it's not bad by any means, but you could pull like two or three and it would have been a lot better and I could have made like one B. But you know, this game really depends on your luck. And yeah, I'm trying to sell this S label for 420M at least and try to save those mesos up in order to buy unique emblems for my Dome Warrior here. And you know, you gotta have mesos ready whenever you're looking and trying to buy stuff in PS. As sometimes whenever good stuff comes up, it gets bought out very fast. So you gotta have some mesos in stock just to wait and you know, snipe those good items off TS. So yeah, this is it for this week's video. I did improve my character by a lot by buying those high Star Force Mythic Gears. But my goal now is probably to, you know, rush for SF-144 while trying to get unique emblems. Just so that I could work more towards endgame gear. And I feel like these three Mythic pieces that I have here are enough for me to get through the early game. I did also get my character up to SF-130 before the third week and I did Star Force the unique gear just a bit because I was planning on replacing them anyways. So I did not want to rush them and try to get those unique gears up to Star Force 17 to get to SF-144. And just I'm just gonna slowly wait, ride it out, wait for you know something nice to come up on TS and use the missiles I've got from the fashion pull and 
the leftover of my pit pulls to get those gears by the next week if possible. But I'm not in a rush here. If I don't get it by next week, I could just probably fund one of my alts, try to get more level, one, I mean, SF120 alts. And yeah, that is my goal for the next week. And I will see you all in the next week's episode. Bye bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.